Southern California is known for its great white sharks. But some would argue it's the leopard sharks that are the most photogenic of them all. Leopard sharks are common in coastal waters off Southern California. They are medium-sized sharks, typically growing to around 5 feet in length. They get their name from the distinctive leopard-like spots and blotches. Their markings on their bodies serve as camouflage. They have a slender cylindrical body with a short, blunt snout. Leopard sharks are bottom-dwelling sharks and feed on a variety of marine life including fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Like all sharks found along the shore, they are important members of the Southern California ecosystem. They help to control populations of their prey species and play a role in nutrient cycling. In other words, they prey on dead and decaying organic matter. This helps to keep the marine environment healthy and productive. Leopard sharks are not known to be aggressive towards humans and are considered harmless. They are often observed swimming in shallow water especially during the summer months. In recent years, leopard shark populations in Southern California have declined due to overfishing and habitat loss. As a result, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife has implemented a number of conservation measures, including catch limits and marine protected areas. In California, some leopard sharks migrate northward in the spring and summer, and southward in the fall and winter, while some local populations stay year-round in the same area. The exact reasons why some leopard sharks migrate and others don't are not fully understood yet. Leopard sharks spawn in shallow waters. Their young can be seen in big numbers across a variety of beaches in California. They take upwards of 15 years to reach sexual maturity, and one female can birth up to 36 pups in a year. Because they prefer shallow, muddy waters near shore, they are susceptible to the damages of big rain events that can push toxic plumes of pathogens out into the water with some mass die-offs. These are attributed to a combination of natural factors and human activity. I often film leopard sharks near a variety of species. Here, a seal passes through a leopard shark aggregation. However, it's not just seals I find near leopard sharks. It's great white sharks too. In fact, many juvenile white sharks prey on smaller leopard sharks. Because of this, it's not hard to find both in close proximity to each other. Overall, it's a good sign to see these sharks nearby because an ocean with sharks is a sign of a healthy ecosystem and that is ultimately good for everyone.